Assalomu alaykum hurmatli kuzatuvchilar. Navbatdagi Target IELTS ko'rsatuviga xush kelibsiz. Bilganingizdek, biz o'quvchilarning bilim darajasi ular qanchalik IELTSga tayyor ekanligini tekshiramiz. Hozir buni to'g'ridan to'g'ri guvohi bo'lasiz. Qani, ketdik yo'masa. Good afternoon, dear IELTS candidate. This is the speaking mock exam taking place is Target International School. Mm -hmm. And my name is Dr. John Komoljanov and I am going to be your examiner for this part of the exam. Uh, the part, uh, the speaking part consists of three different sections. Uh, for the first part, I would like to ask some general questions about your interest and about yourself. So, are you ready? Yeah, can we start? Yeah. So, can I have your name, please? Arabov Sarvar. Can you spell your name, please? S A R V A R. Uh huh, Sarvar. Okay, Sarvar. Do you work or are you a student? Uh huh. Nowadays, uh, actually, I'm a student at Target International School and uh, here uh, I study at the 11th grade. Okay, so what do you like about your school? Mm. Okay, uh, my school uh, is uh, very uh, well designed, you know, and uh, my, uh, my school's atmosphere uh, is also uh, good and the teachers are also very uh, good disciplined. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So let's talk about um, finding and losing. What should people do if they lose something? Okay, uh, I guess uh, they uh, should uh, they should tell about this to the military service first of all I think because uh, the military service is a uh, powerful thing that uh, could uh, find uh, the items which was <coughs> lost. Uh -huh. Okay, is it okay to keep things that you found? Mm. Uh, to a certain extent, it's wrong I think uh, because. Uh, the first of all, it's uh, not uh, our one because uh, it's uh, this uh, thing uh, is uh, is not your, you know. And I think uh, people uh, who find the lost uh, lost item uh, should donate this item to the uh, poor people. I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. What do usually people find in your country? Mm. Uh, I think uh, the world uh, in my country uh, people uh, often uh, find the world uh, because uh, because I, I I'm I'm also recently uh, lost my world spy actually yes mm -hmm. okay so let's talk about uh, dreams mm -hmm. do you remember your dreams when you wake up. Uh, it's um, too hard for me because uh, after getting up, I feel I feel myself very tired, you know. And uh, after that, uh, um, I um, step by step uh, start uh, <coughs> remembering my dreams. Okay. So, do you think dreams affect the life? Uh, not, no, because uh, I think. And the dreams uh, is the most important thing that uh, I think that each, pe uh, each person should uh, have uh, our own dream mm -hmm. because a dream uh, could help uh, to their further career, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you think dreams have a special meanings? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, uh, because uh, the dream uh, should uh, should be clear first of all, and the, the meaning uh, was uh, should be direct. Okay. So, do you share your dreams with others? Yes, of course, especially uh, with my mother, because uh, my mother uh, could feel uh, my um, my inner uh, pain, you know. And uh, my mother uh, could help me to, uh, when I uh, will encounter to such kind of problems. And uh, I think that my mother uh, could uh, mm, could set uh, my dreams. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. So this is end of the part one and we will continue with part two. In part two you will be given a cue card where you have to speak at least two minutes. Of course you will be given one minute to prepare your wish, your notes if you wish. So here the paper and this is your question. You have one minute to prepare your notes. So time is up. Please start speaking. Uh, if my memory serves me right, uh, roughly two years ago, uh, I ordered one thing uh, from the Instagram, uh, renowned as and the oligarch. Uh, like this, uh, this is the uh, website uh, on the Instagram, and <clears throat> uh, I ordered uh, like clothes uh, resembling to shoes and cap, and uh, uh, and the after like two or three days, they uh, delivered me my. Uh, my needs and uh, <clears throat> I can say uh, that uh, after this uh, after the shopping uh, I was uh, impressed because the quality of the shoes was very high you know and uh, I think uh, and this shoes was not expensive and uh, is and uh, along with not cheap mm -hmm. you know? and uh, I think uh, and I think that, uh, <clears throat> uh, and after that, uh, the size of this clothes was not uh, fit to me uh, because uh, I, I I didn't go into this uh, store uh, and I didn't uh, see this uh, clothes with my own eyes, you know, and. The and after that, uh, I told uh, to this website and I said that uh, this uh, size is not uh, suitable for me. And they said uh, to me that they will exchange me uh, to this clothes and I was uh, <coughs> very uh, excited and because it was uh, quite awesome. And after that, uh, they, uh, after roughly uh, two or three days uh, also, they delivered me a new shoes, uh, like uh, this uh, shoes uh, was uh, very cheerful, you know, and the size is also was very good. Okay, thank you very much. The time is up. Thank you. So this is end of the part two. So let's move on part three. In part three, you will be given some questions which is related to uh, part two question. So, Sarwar, uh, what kind of things do people in your country buy from online shops? Okay, uh, as I uh, emphasized before, uh, people in my country uh, often like to buy from the uh, online websites like shoes or the caps, you know, and like clothes. Mm -hmm. And uh, because in our uh, tradition uh, shopping malls, like the quality is not high uh, compared to the online shopping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why online shopping has become so popular? What do you think? Mm. Uh, I think the first uh, the, the first reason behind this and uh, this is the uh, high quality and the price I think mm -hmm. and because uh, as I mentioned before the price uh, also good and another thing and it is the um, it is a free delivery service and uh, like nowadays uh, more and more uh, online uh, shopping centers uh, uh, recommends a free uh, delivery service. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are some possible dangers of online shopping? Ah, okay. From my point of view, uh, there are some um, there are some negative consequences from the online uh, shopping. Like mm -hmm. uh, they could uh, uh, the as I uh, as I said uh, before. Uh, the size uh, could not be uh, fitted, and you know, and after that, uh, and after that, um, 
the consumer uh, could uh, lost uh, own money you know, and after that uh, they uh, they will and, and after that uh, it could create some kind of problems you know, with the payment okay so what should customers do to overcome the possible dangers mm -hmm. okay mm, I think uh, they sh uh, they um, should uh, they should uh, to buy from the guaranteed magazine you know and because uh, the guaranteed uh, magazine uh, could uh, ensure uh, uh, safe, uh, safe, uh, safe uh, delivering uh, delivery service and the high quality clothes. Okay, so do you think online shopping will replace the traditional one? Yes, of course, because our tradition uh, shopping malls are are very overcrowded, you know. And another reason uh, it is the uh, um, it is the robbers uh, ample of robbers uh, could uh, could steal their uh, needs you know or their goods and after and and and, and therefore more and more uh, ordinary people uh, prefer to buy things from the online website section okay thank you very much so this is end of the speaking test thank you for attending So I guess the exam was very interesting and our candidate performance it very well and I personally give for this performance 6.5 and as you know the speaking test divided into different four sections so they are vocabulary, grammar range and accuracy and pronunciation and the last one is the fluency and coherence. So for the vocabulary I would give seven definitely used very smart uh, vocabulary and uh, he was able to discuss many different topics and he used some uh, collocations and some topic specific vocabularies so it was very well uh, it is definitely seven but for the grammar uh, grammar it is 6.5 he made some mistakes in grammar sections and uh, on the top of that he didn't use a range of gram uh, grammar range and he didn't use a lot of uh, grammatical structures like complex sentence, compound sentence and the simple sentence. Our candidate was able to use only the simple sentence and uh, he had some uh, problems with the complex sentence and for the pronunciation section I would say it is 6.5 he made some pronunciation mistakes for example he pronounced this word uh, close word he said closes but actually it is close and also he didn't show it uh, the uh, he didn't know that uh, the word stress and he di di didn't use such um, like steps um, and for the fluency and the coherence I would say it is 6.5 in the beginning I wanted to give uh, 7 but for the two questions he didn't explain it in detail and one question was not clear so that's why it is 6.5 and overall score is 6.5 but I hope our candidate uh, will be able to get more than 7 in the real exam and I hope he will do it and I wish good luck thank you very much thanks for watching us Xo'p, hurmatli kuzatuvchilar, mana o'quvchimizning test jarayonini ko'rdik va uning natijasi bilan tanishib chiqdik. Bu ko'rsatuvimiz davom etadi va keyingi sonlarini kutib qoling, bizdan uzoqlashmang.